Hi, we are with Dr. Michael Fisher, nephrologist and president of the Diabetes Research Center. How are you doing, doctor? Thank you. Very well, thank you. We are glad to have you in our show today. The topic that we're going to cover is so important for our families here in Santa Barbara. So why don't we start by telling our viewers what's the mission of the Diabetes Research Center? Well, the mission of the Diabetes Research Center is, quite frankly, to prevent adult onset diabetes by preventing childhood obesity and by touching the families, of course, and preventing obesity in the family members also. Now let's talk about the diabetes itself. What is it exactly and how many people are affected per year here in the United States? Well, I want to say there are two types of diabetes. Um, and I'm going to dismiss the first type, uh, which is called type 1 diabetes. And another term for it is juvenile diabetes because it only affects 5% uh, of all the people in the world that get diabetes. And uh, so I want to really uh, refer to type 2 diabetes mm -hmm. or adult onset diabetes, which is the diabetes that's affecting our children and our families and is very directly related to obesity. So adult onset diabetes is really insulin resistance, which is created by the fat cells themselves. Uh, the fat cells are endocrine organs. They create resistance to the uh, action of our own insulin. And if you Combine that with a genetic predisposition, which we see in many communities, mm -hmm. in our own uh, community in Santa Barbara, the Latino community has a high genetic predisposition to develop diabetes. If they are obese, we have the seeds for the epidemic that we see today. Which are the symptoms for diabetes? The symptoms are very similar. Um, you know, blood sugars are very elevated. Uh, people get very thirsty. They begin to uh, urinate frequently. They lose weight. They feel poorly, and if it isn't picked up at that point, they can wind up in the hospital in a diabetic ketoacidosis in a comatose state, so it's very serious. And what's happening with the children nowadays that it seems like diabetes is increasing? Well, there is an epidemic of childhood obesity, and as a result of that, we're seeing an epidemic of childhood adult onset diabetes. It sounds like a, um, a paradox. To, to talk about adult onset diabetes in children, but that's mm -hmm. the truth. Uh, our children are at high risk for adult onset diabetes because of this epidemic of childhood obesity, which we see not only in our country, but around the world. Now let's talk about the programs that are part of the Diabetes Research Center. How do they work or when did they start? So the programs began uh, in Carpinteria three years ago with the Carpinteria Obesity Prevention Initiative mm -hmm. funded by the California Endowment and Cottage Health System mm -hmm. and touched uh, 400 children and is ongoing. And the core of the program is uh, exercise in the school, nutrition, gardening, cooking classes, and even the concept of stress reduction. That's excellent. And this is a good time to tell our viewers that we are actually filming from the Franklin Elementary School because they are already implementing somehow these programs that doctor is talking about. And this school is really a microcosm of the very worst of the obesity epidemic that we see in our country. And in fact, we measured the body mass index of the 600 children at this school and a staggering 55% of the children are overweight or obese, which means that out of the 600 children, 300 of those children will develop type 2 diabetes or adult onset diabetes before the 20th birthday. It adds a new uh, meaning to what we hear when they say that this will be the first generation of children who will not outlive their parents. And these children are at tremendous risk for developing kidney failure and blindness and uh, other severe complications of diabetes over the next 20 years. Diabetes uh, is now an epidemic proportion, and it's, uh, as the rate of rise of diabetes goes up, it follows the rate of rise of obesity. And with that, we see cardiovascular disease on the same line. So heart disease is very much caused by diabetes. Kidney failure, diabetes is the leading cause of kidney failure in the world. Uh, it's the leading cause of strokes, uh, blindness, amputations. So diabetes is really the root of all evil. Well, thank you so much for all that effort, Dr. Fisher. Also, will be a good time to talk with the Director of Programs from the Diabetes Research Center, Priscilla Hernandez, which is part of your staff. She's not only part of our staff, she's the heart and soul of our staff and uh, the force behind the success we're having here at Franklin School and in Carpinteria. Thank you so much. Let's welcome Priscilla. We are now with Priscilla Hernandez. How are you, Priscilla? I'm fine, thank you. We are glad to have you in our show today. Thank you. And Priscilla, 
uh, you will talk to us about the programs that are so important and are a good part of the Diabetes Research Center. Mm -hmm. So can you explain me how do you apply those programs at the schools? Well, right now what we're doing with Franklin is that we're coming in as a consultant base and we're developing a standard-based curriculum for physical education. In addition to that, we're going to incorporate nutrition and um, gardening components within that physical education piece. So we're coming in and we will be teaching developed lessons on different activities for the kids from K through sixth grade on a regular basis, Monday through Friday. So another important aspect that you work with is the families mm -hmm. themselves, right, to implement good habits. Correct. How do you do that? Um, well, we, what we do is we will be offering nutrition classes for the families. We'll be offering cooking classes throughout the year that they'll be able to get involved in. We'll be working also with the family service advocate who interacts with the parents on a monthly basis. In addition to that, which is pretty unique, is that the staff is getting involved. Because it's one thing to work with the children, but if they're not seeing the role models that they should be seeing that are doing the same, eating healthy, um, doing exercise, you know, living healthy lifestyles, um, it's, it's kind of, it, it won't work. But the staff has gotten involved in an adult fitness training that we offer here at the Franklin School in the evenings. They do an hour of cardio circuit training workouts. We do nutrition education with them, so they've started to reduce their calories and eat healthier. So they're, they're role models. The kids see them on a regular basis, and it makes a difference. So. That's great. Congratulations mm -hmm. for Thank all you. those efforts. And lastly, how can people volunteer? Um, they can call our office or they can go to our website, which is www.sbdrc.org. They can click on how to get involved, and there's a volunteer form that they can submit to our organization. Or they can just you know, call the office directly. They can ask to speak to me, and we'll get them involved. And donations are always welcome. Donations are always welcome. Um, yeah, we definitely need support from the community. Well, thank you, Priscilla. The work that you and Dr. Fisher do is really, really helpful and needed in our community. So best for you and to the Diabetes Research Center. Thank you. For more information on the Nonprofit Spotlight, check our website at www.sbchannels.tv.